years ago, Kyle Linares learned he had high blood pressure, so he took steps to lower it. The last couple times it's been really good. I mean, it's been fairly steady at about 122, 123 over 70 or 75. So good job. Good job because keeping it in check now can help him avoid a stroke or heart disease down the road. Other kids may not be so lucky. Our study would suggest that most children with hypertension are not recognized at all. Dr. Matthew Hansen studied the electronic medical records of 14,000 kids and found that only one in four who had hypertension were actually diagnosed with it. It's not something that you can do uh, just by passively looking at their measures. There's no target number for kids like there is for adults. What's considered normal varies with age, sex, height, and weight, and it changes as they grow. I have to go to a book and look up all those things by table, and then you find the number that's the goal for that particular child. Doctors say a tool that makes blood pressure easier to calculate might keep hypertensive kids from falling through the cracks. In the age of electronic health records is you can have a computer system that could potentially do it for you and could track the child's blood pressure over time. Until a system is developed, parents should make sure their child's blood pressure is measured accurately. You really need to find out if it's good because for kids, the, the guidelines are completely different. If it's not good, at least you'll know in time to make potentially life-saving changes.